Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kikadam and today we are recording the fourth session of UiPath interview questions or you can say in general terms RPA interview questions. Now this series is specifically dedicated to all the RPA developers who wish to acquire a new job, who wish to practice some interview questions and that's where we are recording the fourth consecutive session of this particular series. The first session or the first episode has got 2.1k views and that was a huge success and that's where I decided to continue the series as per the demand from our community. Thank you so much for such a great response. Please go ahead and watch all the videos that are necessary and we have so much practical videos also and the last video which we had top 20 questions of UiPath Orchestrator. In today's series, we are going to look at the top 21 questions of top 10 questions of document understanding. So what are these top 10 questions? So let's have a quick look at these all questions and let's go ahead with our today's recording. So welcome again to my YouTube channel and let's jump on to our first question today. So the first question is, what are the components of document understanding framework? Now, before I get started with the questions, let me tell you that document understanding framework is a, a part of UiPath's framework where you can extract details from scanned documents or photograph images or any typical kind of documents where the data is not native, where you need OCR or when you need some sort of intelligence to extract the data from documents, critical documents. So that's where you use document understanding. So very basic framework. So the first question is, what are the interview? So first question is, what are the components of document understanding framework? So there are five components of it where there are different classification to it. So first component of document understanding framework is loading taxonomy. So as soon as you use document understanding framework, first thing that you have to do is you have to load the taxonomy and you have to uh, you know, name all the fields that you want to extract. It could be tabular fields, could be free text fields. So you can, you have to do it in loading of taxonomy. Then the second step is digitization. That's where you file to obtain machine related readable data using OCR if necessary. So digitization is necessary only in case of, you know, there is machine readable data needed where you need a help of OCR. The third step is classification. So in the classification, there are two different parts of it. Again, one is classification results validation. Another is training classification. So classification validation results are completely based on, there are two types of classification validation results. You can either have a keyword based classifier or intelligent classifier. So you have to, you have two types of training classifiers. Here. Now, when the classification is done, then you have the extraction scope. So in extraction scope, you have to perform or you, you get the information from the document using different methods. So that's where you have to use different types of extractors to get the data and to fetch the data. Uh, and you have to create the templates within this particular extract step. And the final step is obviously export. So this is how easy it is. There are only five components of document understanding framework. The first one is load taxonomy. Second one is digitize the document. Third one is classify. Fourth is extract. And fifth is export. Let's jump on to the second question. So the second question is, where can we get the document understanding API on cloud orchestrator? So this question might be asked because this question answer is very simple. You just have to navigate to UiPath, UiPath Cloud admin, then you have to go to licenses, then robot services, and then document understanding. So let me show you very quickly if I have time to right here. So let me show you how it works. So all you have to do is on your automation cloud, you have to navigate to admin. You have to navigate to licenses, robots and services, and that's where you have your document understanding. Don't copy my API key though. So this is where you can get your document understanding API. Let's look at the third question. So what are the two types of classifier trainers? So we just talked about it. The first type of classifier trainer is keyword-based classifier. The second type of classifier trainer is intelligent keyword classifier trainer. Again, I'll repeat it. First one is keyword based classifier trainer. Second one is intelligent keyword classifier trainer. Let's jump on to the fourth one. Fourth question. What are the different types of extractors available in data extraction scope? This question might be asked because it is again one of the most important questions of document understanding where people's knowledge will be judged if 
if you have really used document understanding in your previous company or not or if you have really tried document understanding it completely depends on your experience and on your uh, you know the actual actual experience that you have used document understanding so this question is really tough but again there are five uh, different types of extractors available as of now in data extraction school the fourth one is regex based extractor which is regular expression based extractor where you can extract data in the uh, using regular expressions where we are expecting that when you digitize the data you get the extraction uh, in in a specific string and then you apply certain sort of regular expressions on that particular extracted data which is ocr has extracted and you find out the fields the second one is form extractor the form extractor is a normal basic extractor which extracts certain types of fields again the advanced version of form extractor is the third one which is intelligent form extractor the third one is intelligent form extractor which also extracts handwritten data which also extracts check marks uh, you know signs options and uh, you know there are certain handwritten signals and signs so that one that also can be extracted using intelligent form extractor the fourth one is machine learning extractor where you will need support of uipath ai center where if you have if you are using any ml services of uipath ai center then you can use machine learning extractor in that case the last one is flexi capture extractor from the name you might have already understood flexi capture extractor is for agri flexi capture so you can use flexi capture extractor so again i will repeat there are five different types of extractors available in data extraction school the first one is regex based extractor second one is form based extractor third one is intelligent form extractor fourth one is machine learning extractor fifth one is flexi capture extractor and let's move on to our fifth question so first question is which activity is used to validate the document in action center now what is the activity which is used to validate the document in action center for that there are two types of activities first activity is create document validation action now there are many type of activities which you can use to get started with action center but specifically for document understanding there are these two activities the first one is create document validation action the second one is wait for document validation action and resume so the post activity basically creates action and assigns it to a specific user on action center and the second one is will wait using the heartbeat mechanism uh, of your ui path robot and orchestrator correction and it will wait for action to be completed and once the action is completed it will resume the workflow which is uh, in a pause state or which waits for your uh, signal from the orchestrator let's look at the sixth question so the sixth question is which product of ui path is used to label the documents in document understanding now in this case if you want to retrain a data if you want to retrain your documents and if you have any custom type of documents where there is no predefined model available in document understanding or uh, the data extraction uh, or the data is not linear or all the documents that you are getting are not of same type now let's say you have invoices but there are 22 different types of vendors which are providing these invoices so you have ml uh, invoice extractor but you still want to create your own custom document uh, you know own custom model for it to uh, capture the data from the document in that case you might have to retrain the document label these documents now for labeling these documents you can retrain any of the model of document understanding using data manager <clears throat> so the answer to this question is data manager which is a part of ai center now if you ideally navigate here let me show you if i can show you that very quickly so here we if we navigate to terence ai center and if we navigate to any one of them for example sentiment or uh, data labeling so this is where ui for document understanding comes into picture where you can create new data labeling app where you can trigger a data manager which is ideally works like a docker and container kind of a way okay now let's move on to the seventh question of the day so the seventh question that we have is what are the different ocrs available in ui path for digitization now this is one of the toughest questions because no very less of the people uh, know that how many types of ocrs are there so most of the people knows this answer but 
This will be definitely just is because if you are working on document understanding, then you must know what are the different types of OCRs because you have to do OCR benchmarking before you go ahead and before you launch the document understanding or before you start using document understanding. Either you are so sure about one of the OCRs. So what are the different types of OCRs that can be used in digitization process? The first one is UiPath document OCR. The second one is UiPath, uh, sorry. Now, before I go to the second one, the first one is UiPath document OCR, which uses the similar API key, which we use for document understanding. So this is nothing but the document understanding API, which we just talked about in the third question. In the second question, that is the same thing, which is which will be used in order to use UiPath document OCR. The second OCR is OmniPage OCR. The third OCR is Google Cloud Vision. Now this OCR again needs API key of Google Cloud product. The fourth OCR is a Tesseract OCR, which is freely available in UiPath Studio. The fifth one is Microsoft Azure Computer Vision OCR, which again needs Azure, uh, where you need to get this uh, API key from Azure, and you need to create an application for that for using computer vision in Microsoft Azure. The sixth one is Microsoft OCR, which is again freely available. And the last one is Abby Document OCR. So what are the different types of OCR? I'll repeat again all the names. First one, UiPath Document OCR. Second one, OmniPage OCR. Third one, Google Cloud Vision OCR. Fourth, Tesseract OCR. Fifth, Microsoft Azure Computer Vision OCR. Sixth, Microsoft OCR. And seventh, Abby Document OCR. Let's navigate to our ninth, eighth question. So the eighth question is explain the use of machine learning extractor trainer activity. So what is the machine learning extractor trainer activity? This activity enables you to collection of the, uh, for collecting the data that has been processed through validation station so that it can be imported into data manager. Now I have already told you about data manager. Now what happens here is machine learning extractor trainer activity, nothing but helps you to collect all this data and to put this data using validation station into data manager that you train. And this activity can be used within the trainer extractor scope activity. So train extractor scope is the uh, is a class activity. Inside that, you can use machine learning extractor trainer activity. Now, how this works is you don't have to uh, explicitly go in data manager and add one more test data, but you can add the data that you train in the validation station or in the present validation station where you uh, do it. And you directly send it to data manager. So that's why this machine learning extractor trainer activity is used. Which dependency you need? Ninth question. Let's jump on to the ninth question. Second last question of the day. So which dependency you need for document understanding framework? Now, this is a very basic question. But now, after having such a deep knowledge about document understanding, if you can't answer this question, then this definitely, uh, definitely you will be judged. Now, that's where I have added this simple question, which we tend to forget. What is the dependency that you need in UiPath Studio to use document understanding? And the answer is intelligent OCR activity package. Remember this very clearly. Intelligent OCR activity package you need to use document understanding framework. And also the final question of the day is which dependency you need to use Action Center in UiPath Studio? So the dependency you need to use UiPath Action Center is UiPath.com persistence.activities package. Remember that, uipath.persistence.activities package. So that's all about all the 10 questions of the day that we have seen. So let's recap very quickly. We have seen 10 interview questions which are based on document understanding. The first one is the component of document understanding framework. Where can we get the document understanding API? What are the two types of classifier trainers? What are the different types of extractors? Which activity is used to validate the document in Action Center? Which product? of UiPath is used to label the documents. What are the different types of OCRs? Explain the machine learning extractor dependency you need for document understanding and you need for action center. So with this, we will close the session. And I hope you love this video. Let me know if you like this video so I can create one more video based on the next training uh, data. Let me know which part of UiPath product you would like to see interview questions on and let me know in the comment section what would you like to see next in this series in the episode five. Thank you so much. Keep supporting and thank you so much for 2,500 subscribers almost. So let's complete the target of 3,000 subscribers by the end of this month and happy automation.